Hi, everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about why I think Tesla is overvalued. So let me start off by saying that I know this is an extremely controversial claim and that very smart people in the past who've made this claim have actually gotten hurt on it. Names like Jim Chanos and David Einhorn, both very successful short investors, have gotten crushed on Tesla in the last year. But to be honest, I think they're right. And I think Tesla is very, very overvalued. And let me explain you why. So the reason Tesla overvalued right now and why people love Tesla so much is because they think of Tesla as a technology company. To think of it as a company with immeasurable amounts of possible success and potential, and that this company could really change the world and do things that no one ever thought possible, similar to a Facebook, a Google, an Amazon, companies like that. But people fail to realize that unlike all those companies, Tesla has one critical difference, that their industry is already established. If you look at the other industries, such as the internet, which is the main one, social media, online shopping, these were all nascent industries that these companies were now helping establish. But with Tesla, you already have a very established industry that is only growing about 2 to 3% a year. Now, that really means that we can basically find out the best case scenario for Tesla by looking at the best car companies and the largest ones in the industry. So what does that tell you? Well, if you look at the industry today, you'll see that Toyota and Volkswagen and companies that are similar are the largest companies. And their market caps are usually below $100 billion, while Tesla almost reached a trillion dollars recently. Now it's been crashing, all kinds of reasons why. But essentially, you have this company that everyone values as a tech company, but really should be valued as a car company. I'm sure they can create enormous growth. In fact, they already have 50%, 60% yearly sales growth rates. But people forget that they have a limit. We, unlike internet, where you can't measure where it's going to go, you know, it could take over the whole world. Cars are very easy to measure where it's going to go. And the largest car company, Toyota, has roughly $280 billion in sales. So let's be generous and say that Tesla has, will get $300 billion in sales. Basically saying that not only will they change the world into a primarily electric car area, but they will also be the largest competitor in the marketplace even though Toyota and all these different car companies have their own electrical cars. But let's just say that. It means that Tesla has at maximum six to seven years of this type of growth until they max out. And even if they grow to that maximum, even if they grow to Toyota size, they're not going to be able to justify how much they're worth today. And that's because Toyota, I mean, it's already a maxed out company and it's worth at 90, 100, I'm not sure, but I know it's definitely, you know, like 30%, a third or much less of what Tesla's currently worth. And that means that Tesla's eventually going to end up at a third of its current worth, logically, if they become the largest car company in the world. The other problem I have with Tesla's valuation is that people think that the earnings are going to pay you back. Okay, so the profits of the company. But the problem with that is that Tesla doesn't actually create profits selling cars. If you do some research, you'll realize that the only way Tesla makes money is by selling tax credits. So what happens is, is that the government wants to encourage green, renewable cars, so they give out tax credits, and Tesla has so many of them that they can sell them for extra, therefore making money. Now, Tesla sells those tax credits to make money. That's their only form of profit, and that's a big problem because everyone's expecting Tesla to be like Amazon, where their margins greatly increase. Essentially, they make more money on each dollar of sales, but the problem is margins are not going to increase if all you're making money through is tax credits. In fact, they may decrease because if electrical cars become the hottest stuff in the world and everyone has one, there's not going to be that much need for them anymore and Tesla will have lost its only profit-making source. So if you want a comparable example of this, you can actually just look at what happened in the 2000 crash with this legendary guy called Masayoshi Sun. I actually did another video on him. If you look at Masa Sun's story, you'll realize that he was the richest man in the world for about three days until the entire market crashed. Very similar to Elon Musk, who recently was the richest man in the world before being overtaken again. Now, I think it draws a lot of parallels in that Tesla is very, very overvalued and has a huge trance of crashing. In fact, it already is crashing. So in conclusion, my call to action would be, be wary of Tesla, You know, be defensive. And if you short the stock, try not to borrow shares because the people who have borrowed shares have had a very, very tough time. If I if you are going to short, you should just buy put options.
That's it. So you have a maximum 100% loss in your investment instead of the 700% loss that short sellers have been dealing with for the past year. Overall, guys, be defensive with Tesla. If you own the stock, at least buy puts on it. If you want to short the stock, use puts. And I'd say just avoid the company or buy put options. Thanks for listening and enjoy the next videos.